having gone through the Unit 1 civilizations and ancient civilizations for the literary stream, Unit 2 ethics and business for both the literary stream and the uh, scientific stream. Then I moved to uh, advertising, consumer safety, which is a unit for the scientific branch. Now, you have got two units for the literary and two units for the uh, scientific history. Now today we'll tackle unit four, which is education in the world, and education in the world is a unit for the literary stream, for the language and uh, philosophy stream. And the, the next one, inshallah, will be astronomy, which is a section or unit for the uh, scientific. Now, as usual, we cannot start the unit without knowing the basic language used in this unit. So, we must first understand, get ideas, get definitions, because we need them in our future paragraphs. So, first, education in the world. In this unit, you are going to see symbols of education, for example, education in Algeria, education in India, education in Britain, education in America, USA, education in Pakistan, in everywhere. So we see symbols. Now, these symbols are educational systems. It means education is one. There is one education, but the systems are different from one country to another. For example, in Algeria, for example, as in every part in the country, there is a board. This board is in Algeria, as in China, as in USA, as in Australia. There is a pen, a similar. There is a teacher, and there are pupils. There are tables, there are chairs. There is a the library, there is a school. So all these are common things that we have in every country. It means there is no uh, different school, for example, the secondary school in Algeria is the same as the secondary school in Britain or in USA. They are all the same. But what is different now is the educational system. It means the way pupil, pupils are educated. It means the program, the syllabus, the timing, the, the way uh, wearing uniforms, having, for example, uh, half part or full time uh, studying, etc. So all this are the results of the, the educational system in every country. But education is everywhere the same. Now, first let's start by defining the concept of education. So, what is education? Now, education from the verb to educate. Now, educate, to educate, education. The adjective is educative and educational. Educate, let's see, we'll see this next. But what is education? Now, education is, it is a process because it, it doesn't happen in one day or two days or one year or two years. For example, in Algeria, the primary education is from the, the age of five till the age of eleven, in six years. Yeah. The, sec the middle education comes from the age of eleven to the age of sixteen, to four years. Then the secondary education goes from the age of sixteen to the age of nineteen, three years. Then the university or the tertiary education goes from the age of 19, 20 till when you finish your studies. So it's a process of what? Of acquisition, acquiring and transmitting what? Knowledge. Simply, the term education, first it's a process, it's a long process, it's a step-by-step -step process in which you are acquiring, acquiring and transmitting what? A knowledge. Knowledge from the verb to know and the, the noun of is knowledge. The adjective is knowledgeable, it, it is the same word and you are A-B-L-E, able, the knowledge, knowledgeable, knowledge. This knowledge, for example, is uh, Arabic, the languages of Arabic, English, Spanish, for example, mathematics, physics, biology, history, uh, philosophy, all this is part of the knowledge. So, this knowledge is acquired and transmitted according in, during the process of education. Now, acquired 
from the teacher and transmitted by teacher. But it can be a teacher as it can be a learner. So this is the vague, the broad definition of education. It's a process of acquisition or acquiring and transmitting knowledge. Now, instruction is not as education. Now, education is a term employed not necessary in school because there is an education at home and education at school. So, both education forms are having the same. No, but at the education at home, you as a child acquiring knowledge from your parents. And we call this uh, the first getting the values and principles from your parents. And we call the religious, for example, education, getting from your parents. Now, after you are at the age of five, you go to the school, and there you are a pupil, and you are getting knowledge from the teacher, and also transmitting that knowledge to your friends and to the others. Now, instruction is having the same meaning of education, but it's necessarily, necessarily, necessarily linked to school. The instruction when you use, employ the word instruction in English, because I'm using the word education, the argument is general. As I said, home education and school education. At university, you can have education in a private institution, for example, our institute. But the word instruction is naming, is major, is a major use in school. For example, you get instruction at school. So this is just the, 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 the slight difference between the word education and the word instruction. But, so both are synonyms. So the word education instruction is getting knowledge. The instruction is getting knowledge at school. And the education, it can be at school, as it can be at home, as it can be out, in a library. Now, in the terms of education, we've got many various similar terms. Like the, ver like the, 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 the concept of studying and the concept of learning. Studying and learning are not the same. Studying is, the studying is, it is devoting, devoting time and effort in getting what? Knowledge. in an institution it means when you study it means that you are having a timetable means you start at 8 finish at 12 and start at 2 finish at 6 or 4 and it's time and effort because you need to read to practice to go to the board to revise and all this is done in an institution, in a school. So you study in a school. It means the term study is linked to the, to the meaning of getting a diploma. So you study to get a diploma, to get a degree. I mean, for example, now you are studying to, and you are to, to pass the back exam, and finally you get a diploma as a bachelor. It means you get a back exam uh, the, the degree. So this is the the the, the, uh, the what you are studying. So you are studying. You are devoting what time and effort and sometimes money. What to get knowledge in an institution? Why to get a degree? To get a degree or to get a diploma or to get a mark or to get a score. So if this is what we mean by the term study. So you are studying, it means in a classroom, in a timetable, with a textbook, with a board, with a chair, table and a teacher. So this is called study. Now, learning is something else. Now, learning is also studying, but it's a free way of studying. It means while you are studying, you must be under the supervision of a teacher in an institution, either primary school or middle school or secondary school or university. You are studying and at the end of your studies you get a diploma or get a degree. 
So this is why we call this study. But learning though, learning is, it is a lifelong process. A lifelong process. So remember, you can finish your studies. For example, we say in English, I finished my primary school. I finished my secondary school. I finished university. Now I am looking for a job. So you finish your studies, for example, your secondary studies, your university studies, you can finish them. But learning, no. Learning is something lifelong. What do you like? Well, it's through the whole life, from your birth till your death, from the beginning of your life till the end of life. And it's a lifelong process of what? Of acquiring knowledge. Of acquiring knowledge. But not, but not in an institution, not by force. For you are not forced to stay in the school. You are not forced to get it from a teacher. In a lifelong process in learning, you can learn from a friend. You can learn from the parents. You can learn from the computer. You can learn from TV. You can learn from an animal. You follow, you observe an animal and you learn from his, its practices. So you can learn from a child. An adult, an old man can learn from a small child. So this is learning. And learning is getting knowledge. But for the sake of learning, not for the sake of studying. Because in learning, you are not looking for a, for a score, for a mark, or for a diploma. You learn because it's a part of your identity. And learning is something very useful in our life. So, the more you learn, the more you are safe. Remember the, the unit of the advertising? So, the more you learn, the more you avoid problems, and the more you are safe, and the more you are getting a good habit. So, this is learning. Now, studying in an institution, in a classroom, with a teacher, learning, it's not uh, obligatory to get a teacher. You can learn from anything, from the internet, from a book, from a magazine, from a person from an animal, if you like, from an insect, and now training. Training is another process where it is employing the different skills, skills, or knowledge acquired through learning either in a school or in life. Finish training, for example you get a diploma, you finish your studies, so now you, it comes a period of training, so you are trained, you are employing the different skills you have learned in school or the different knowledge you get in school. For example, you are, uh, uh, for example, you study the language, English language, and you want to become a teacher. So, your training is now to employ the knowledge you got in English to transmit it to the others. So this is a training. And why? It's knowledge acquired through learning. It means what you've learned, you train, you dread, you practice to get experience. So the more you train, no, the more you study, the more you learn. The more you learn, the more you train. The more you train, the more you got to get knowledge and practice and experience. So this is the basic concept used in the terms of education. Now, let's now make a table to, uh, let's say, summarize what you said. So, education is the acquisition or transmission. So from the verb acquire, to acquire and to transmit, to transmit. So acquisition, acquiring, transmission, transmit. Now, what of knowledge? So during education, you are acquiring and then transmitting knowledge. Knowledge, it can be everything, all the subjects. This knowledge can be theoretical, as it can be practical knowledge. So you can say theoretical knowledge, for example, mathematics, physics is a theoretical knowledge. To learn how to compare, to learn how to synthesize, 
to learn how to write, to learn how to read is something theoretical, it's in your mind. But practical is to learn how to teach, to learn how to make something, to use a machine, to use a computer, to use a tool. So all this is practical. So in the knowledge, there's a theoretical knowledge, as there is a practical knowledge. Now, the theoretical knowledge is got through studying, through learning, but the practical knowledge is got through training. So the more you train, the more you practice, the more you get practice and experience in your knowledge. Now, this, this practice and this theoretical practical knowledge, you are getting it from an institution. An institution, it can be a school, as a primary school, secondary school, middle school, as it can be university, as it can be an institute, as it can be a, 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 a school outside, uh, for example, uh, uh, we've got, uh, we got two kinds of institutions. We've got private and public schools. Now, the public schools are the schools, the institutions of the government. It means, uh, at the your secondary school, you are learning in a secondary school, so this secondary school is the property of the government. So it's a public one. It's for all the people. It's the owner. It's owned by the government. But a private, I can make a private school, for example. I've got money, so I build a school, I bring teachers, and I pay them and make them you know, teach you and get out of this money. So it's private school. Private school, uh, this institution, the school is owned by a person, but the public school is an institution which is owned by the government. So these are the main uh, concepts that we need to understand during this unit.